I've got a life vest from an aircraft that I'm going to demonstrate. It's an expired one from an uh, airplane, so it can't be used on the airplane anymore. I've had a number of these that I've let people try when, they're, when they've been expired, and each time they're very appreciative to have the opportunity to try one because although you do get a safety briefing on the airplane with the flight attendant, it's not going to be quite the same sensation when it's dark, people are being noisy, maybe you're injured, um, smoky, having trouble breathing, and you're trying to find one of these things and get it put on you. So what I'm going to do now is go all the way through actually how you do this and not just the very short demonstration video that you see on an airline. Okay, so wherever this thing is kept, if it's under your seat or whatever, you'll take it out. And the first thing that you'll want to do is rip it open. And then it'll unfold. It'll be labeled for the top so you'll know what to do there. Okay, and it's kind of a unidirectional for the most part. This is designed to come out on your shoulder. This is the light. All right. This is the battery, the water activated battery. When you're, if you're into the water for uh, an extended period of, you know, several minutes, 10 or 20 minutes, it'll activate and this light will start to illuminate, will come on. You got the belt, it's held together with a rubber band. All you do is just grab it and yank it. These are, it's a two-part vest, so they're basically two vests. Each vest has its own inflation bottle. And then you have a tube that you can blow into as well. Once you've used your bottle, if you need to have more and continuing to have more of it leaking down or something, you've been in the water a long time, you can continue to inflate it. If one goes flat, they're separated so that if, you, if one goes flat for some reason, maybe a shark bites it, then hopefully you'll have the other one that the shark didn't get bit. And then on the other side you've got a bottle and a tube for the other life vests that are, you see where they're sewn together, but they're two separate vests held together. Alright, so now I'm going to demonstrate it. It really doesn't matter which way is the front or the back. You just grab it and get your head into the thing. Grab the belt buckle and just pull it. Go around yourself. Make it snug. All right. So now it's on. If you don't put the belt on, it'll float up. You know, it'll float up into your face and over your head. So the belt keeps it in a better position. And the next thing you do is uh, when you get to the door, they don't want you to deploy these in the aircraft because they'll inflate and be kind of puffy. And when you get to the door, what you want to do is pull down on these two handles. And what those handles will, what happens is that will drive a pin up into this little cylinder This cylinder is actually a CO2 cylinder like you would use in a CO2 gun or a paintball gun or a CO2 BB pistol or pellet gun. The pin in there will drive up in and puncture the end of that. Okay, so you got one on each side. You can do them both, you can do one. So you grab on those and you give them a good a good uh, solid yank, it's not going to be something you just want to, you know, go at really gently. Give them a good hard yank, you're not going to pull them off of the vest. And here we go, ready? This is how it's going to sound like and what it's going to look like. And if you've never done it before, it can be kind of, it can be startling. Actually, people that have never done it before are always startled because of the noise and the sensations of the thing just suddenly inflating up around your head. And so if you're already in a, you know, almost a, if you're in a situation where you need one of these, you're going to be stressed out because you're floating in the water somewhere and the airplane's crashed and dark and sinking. 
so you're already gonna be stressed so anyway so here we go this is what it's gonna look like when you inflate it give him a good yank all right now it's really tight even if I take off my vest or my belt here and you see it'll float in your face if you don't have it buckled down and it's tight enough that you're not going to comfortably get it off you're going to scrape off your nose and tear off your ear and tear off your ears and you can see why they don't want that to be deployed in the cabin of the aircraft <laughs> Now I gotta try to get the buckle back in. We don't need it back in, I was just gonna put it back in. Oh, that's the battery. <laughs> okay. That thing is that thing's on there tight. Let's see how tight those are. Alright, now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is there's a little valve in the in these things. These are the tubes that you can manually blow up the air. And when you get done, or if you if it's you know you're out in the situation and you don't need it to be this full, maybe it's uncomfortable on your head, or if you're bigger than I am, you can deflate one of them. So I've just deflated the bottom one. I'm letting the air out of the bottom one, and that's more comfortable. I'm squeezing all the blood to my face. All right, so now I've only got one of them that are, is inflated. That's more comfortable. And this one is flat. So you can see what I was talking about before, how they operate independently. So if a shark comes along and takes a chunk out of that one, you can blow this one up and laugh at him. All right, I'm going to go ahead and deflate this other one. Say for some reason if uh, it was deflated or was leaking a little bit and you've been in the water for a longer time, you can blow back in these things to reinflate it just by blowing. When you blow, it'll overcome the pressure of this little valve and let air go in. <clears throat> All right, there it's back up. And tight again and you're floating some more okay so you could maybe you got onto a life raft then you deflated it a little bit to be more comfortable on there and then somebody torpedoed the life raft and it sank after you had a plane crash your life raft got torpedoed then you have to get back in the water and blow up your vest again all right, now we're going to take a look at the battery. I'll cut the battery, I'll cut the tape loose, and we'll dip the battery in a bowl of water and show you what the light looks like when it's, uh, here's the light over here. Show you what the light looks like when it comes on. So now we're in the freezing ocean. What we're going to do this is the ocean right here. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate like we're in the water. Here we go, in the water. Alright, now we're gonna float around for a while and see what happens.